Hi, my name is Joshua Burson, and the poem I chose for this week's reading was New Playmates from Jacqueline Woodson's Brown Girl Dreaming. New Playmates. Beautiful brown dolls come from New York City, fancy stores my mother has walked into. She writes of elevators, train stations, buildings so high they hurt the neck to see. She writes of places with beautiful names, Coney Island, Harlem, Brownsville, and Bear Mountain. She tells us she's seen the ocean, how the water keeps going long after the eyes can't see it anymore, promises a whole other country on the other side. She tells us the toy stores are filled with dolls of every size and color. There's a barber shop and a hair salon everywhere. You look. A friend of Aunt Kay's saw Lena Horn just walking down the street. But only the dolls are real to us. Their black hair and stiff curls down over their shoulders, their pink dresses made of coralline and satin, their dark arms unbending still. We hug their hard plastic close. Imagine they are calling us mama. Imagine they need us near. Imagine the letters from our own mother coming to get you soon are ones we're writing to them. We'll never leave you, we whisper. They stare back at us, blank-eyed and beautiful, silent and still. Now, I chose New Playmates from Brown Girl Dreaming because I feel like it truly exemplified the novel as a whole. This poem deals with a very human subject, the child missing their mother. And in this poem, we hear the mother recounting stories in New York City to the children. However, these stories mean nothing to the children for they just miss their, mo their mother. Only the bear, er, only the dolls, I'm sorry, are real for the children, for they are the only physical representation they receive. Even though the mother clearly cares for these children and is writing these letters to them out of care, the children do not feel the mother's love for the mother's not truly there. It's not truly real for them. This poem I found truly heartbreaking. For the children, Jacqueline in particular describes giving love to the doll, maternal love that she wishes to receive herself but cannot due to her mother being separate from her. I think this truly exemplifies the novel in the fact that a lot of the novel is dealing with Jacqueline trying to find a home. And for, for Jacqueline, for many people I should say, home is where family is, home is where love is. And Jacqueline's family is very much split up a lot. With her living with her grandparents in South Carolina, while her mother lives in New York City trying to set up a life for themselves, for them, there she's constantly separate from her mother. She's constantly without this love. I found this poem to be particularly heartbreaking in the fact that the girls write, we will never leave you, and they whisper this to their dolls. These poor girls are heart-stricken that their mother has left them, and they wish so much for to be able to receive what these dolls are receiving right now, the love, the comfort of having a maternal figure there. I believe that Jacqueline Woodson's story, along with this poem in particular, is a very human story. It's a story that anyone can understand. And this story, this poem in particular, truly exemplifies that in the fact that it's a child longing for their mother. This is very much a human desire, a desire that anyone can understand and relate to. I believe this is why Jacqueline's story is so powerful while her story may be unique in a lot of aspects, it is also very human, one people can easily relate to and understand, one people can easily become emotionally invested in. The reason I chose New Playmates is simply because it is this story that is so human that anyone can understand.